equipment layout how we are preparing the cable tray routing how we representing the node for each and every junction points of the cable tray and how we are measuring the distance between two nodes automatically as well as in final how we are generating the cross section details of the cable tray arrangement for each and every section so let us go into the video this is our existing project detail this is the uh, node representation which we um, earlier used uh, this is the standard syntax we followed in particular projects earlier this be representing the substation number so the each and every substation have its own number that is a b c d like that uh, alphabet so we are giving and the first set of 01 is uh, process building which is feeding from this particular substation and this 01 second set of 01 representing the floor level third set of 01 is representing the node numbers similarly for uh, b 01 0102 Uh, 01003 so b second substation b substation 01 this is the first process building this is the first floor of the first process building and this is the third node so this is the um, syntax of this uh, node representation so similarly each and every junction points uh, we um, given the node representation for uh, in the cable tray routing along the cable tray routing before that we are placing all the electrical and instrumentation uh, equipments in the layout so, so that's called the equipment layout and uh, at later after completion of equipment layout we are uh, starting the drawing routing uh, using lines or polyline whatever it may be so this uh, drawing once completed we are placing each and every start point end point and junctions uh, as uh, node numbers so this is the syntax which we already seen for example for the electrical equipment of uh, lpb you can see this is the tag number and this is the node uh, number for the particular lpb because uh, b010106 is the end point of the cable tray from there we are tapping the cable to the lpb so this is the end point of lpb termination of uh, this particular equipment so b010106 underscore lpb lpb similarly you can see here rjb of the motor junction boxes this is mv motor node mv cable we are terminating in this particular uh, node for this particular motor this is the lv motor cooling fan two numbers are there for them this is the 04 is the final node from here we are tapping the final cable tray so kindly we mark the river and see so you can see the second floor we representing is this is the second floor fifth node so same building same process building and same substation this is the second floor but this is the fifth node here you can see the first node is maybe here yeah here it is so from first second third node third node we are connecting the tapping or gr this is the final end of the gr terminal point so this is the fourth uh, point of the second floor so this is the method which we followed So you can see here, this is the cable trace from 10 meter level to 16.55 meter along the column C4. So here is the C, this is the 4, this column we are raising from 10 meter to uh, this may be the 16.55 meter level. So here it is raising further to this particular point that is uh, raising to up to 23.6 meter level. So we are representing the cable trace raising uh, the information here. similarly you can see the node representation of this particular point is b010301 because this is the third floor and already we can see in uh, two floors so this is the syntax this is the format which we already um, used in our earlier projects presently we changed the node representation uh, slightly so you can see here this is the current project uh, which we are uh, using uh, current running project and we change the node representation as the serial number along with the representation of n n means node so this is the serial numbers only we are using even for the motor uh, and the instrument whatever it is the electric uh, equipment we are not giving any lengthy tag mm, we are uh, representing the serial numbers only so this is our new output uh, new format we are using so this is the basic uh, uh, concept which we are following now uh, mainly the node representation has been changed you can see here is one mcc room for this particular uh, pump house 
and this is the main uh, substation uh, junction point of mv cable input so this is that substation entry point uh, here is that entry point so this is the main building substation here is the transformer here will be the mcc and uh, ht panels so you can see here the process building starts uh, from cellar room you see here, here. so you can see the node representation is n364 n2442426 uh, and for this particular motor is n97 only we are not giving any underscore lvm mvm lpb like that we are giving the serial number only for that uh, particular equipment also for uh, this is the new syntax as we said earlier so all other information presentation is same but only we are changed the node representation only that syntax we changed as the serial number uh, you can see this is the our uh, latest uh, current project example we showing here so that's the way each and every height this is 42 the here is the 131 node so this is the race uh, this section number is 216 so um, everything we are showing in the similar way now we can see the existing project detail uh, itself how we are uh, calculating the distance between two nodes uh, automatically so this is also new development uh, recently we developed so that we are not showing in particular drawing itself we are created a separate block for that so you can see here a0101 is the start node a0102 is the uh, end node of this particular uh, root uh, root so this is the plan num plan 001 this is the section name rl is means the uh, root length so distance between these two nodes we will type manually earlier in this particular rl itself but uh, presently we created a macro to automatically calculate the length of this particular line or polyline and the same will uh, value will entry in this particular uh, rl itself into the in mm manner so we have to convert just uh, we have to convert into the meter as we require so similarly you can see in we are generating for all the root length uh, automatically we no need to do any dimensional line and dimensional things here so just we have to click pro properly and we have to click the um, rl properly so this is the concept which we are following once we generated all the root length then we are exporting this particular detail into the excel uh, using one of our macros uh mainly what we are doing we are typing this uh, from node to node and uh, section name information in excel and we are importing into the autocad only the root length we are exporting to uh, excel from autocad so the root length is basically starts at uh, autocad and then we are exporting into excel but all other informations we are importing to the autocad so this is the new development uh, uh, for measuring the root length uh, so this is the main thing and we can see how the root representation of excel will be there so this is from node to node section number and this is the distance this distance will generating uh, in mm manner but later we have to convert into the meter level so this is slightly we have to do some manual work uh, so this is the information we are generating from excel to autocad or, or uh, autocad to excel or vice versa and this column is the distance between ips for each and every section uh, we are um, uh, uh, manually we are feeding these values based on the layout if you want to reduce or increase this distance of 1.5 meter you can manually you can do it so this is um, So this is uh, the column for that purpose. 
and then here you see the next column is representing whether the cable tray uh, for each and every section in which manner we are laying it is in horizontal orientation or vertical orientation for each and every section we have to give manual information about this so that the cross section details of the cable tray automatically generate from this particular excel uh, in, um, sorry uh, in generate from excel in this man this manner so if it is vertical will uh, generate in vertical manner if it is horizontal then drawing will generate horizontal uh, information placement drawing placement everything is automated from excel so there is no manual interface with uh, uh, excel or something we just click the mouse then this drawing will generate so this is one more input we are giving uh next input is for cable tray support sizing is uh, cable tray sizes and the corresponding horizontal support uh, detail for each and every tray we are selecting here you can see we limited the varieties of cable trays uh, per project eight numbers eight varieties we can use more than that we cannot able to use it so this the limitation we are given some standard steel sizes for horizontal as well as vertical which we are using so this we can simply of one of can take and then the uh, input uh, uh, input we are giving is cable sizes for in a variable just a minute sir so you can see here for each and every section uh, we are uh, importing the data of cable tray size selected cable tray sizes from that particular cable schedule file so we are having three varieties of cable schedule file for each every substation uh, one is for hdtv sizing and cable schedule and another one is for lt cable sizing and the cable schedule and the third file is for linear schedule in that particular file itself cable schedule file itself we are generating and we are selecting the cable tray sizes also um, based on the cable body so that we can see in separate video and we are getting this kind of output in same files itself so just we have to copy and paste it in this manner so this is the most important uh, input we are giving for each section so if you want to change it um, manually you can change here also and uh, based on this in inputs uh, in vertical calculation there will be listed of trays the la layers of trays will appear like this so based on this sizes and number of layers we have to select manually the vertical or horizontal uh, vertical support sizes any steel whatever the steel you want to use for this particular year that you can layer and number trace uh, so uh, based on that we have select movie for each and every section so this is uh, one word section uh, support we have to manually and here is the extra length required one column we are giving for each and every section this is uh, particularly for Mm, extended length whatever is required extended length for the uh, vertical support from last tray to uh, bottom level so from even last tray and that particular horizontal support after that horizontal support how much distance you want to extend the vertical support this is the information we are giving here similarly you can see for the horizontal also we are giving uh, uh, room for uh, extended length each and every section we can extend this uh, horizontal support length basically this uh, will lay for the single layer trays so if 50 perforated only we are using that time we may need uh, some extra length of uh, horizontal uh, support length so that time we can use this uh, cell you know this column is used for that purpose and from based on these informations our cable tray sizes will be uh, come out automatically this is the output file you can see here only we uh, limited 
six layers of uh, vertical for each and every section so number of layers we can use only six number this is the from nodes to node section number cable tray type automatically generate based on these sizes um so this is the type of size uh, type and sizes of uh, cable tray so this is the main output which is automatically uh, fetching from the inputs which we already given here so based on this all output uh, file you can just click this drawing generation uh, then bit of output automatically generate so this is also automatic generation from excel we are not going to type any data here we no need to give any uh, information about the text or the lines or something with there is no manual interface only we have to click the drawing generation then automatically all the lines and text will place yeah, based on the inputs which we are given so this is one most important uh, output you can see here what are all the details is there from node to node uh, uh, root number uh, and the cable tray type and each and every vertical steel uh, sizes and its corresponding length and the number of uh, sizes of trays and for uh, what purpose it used everything will come here and you can see based on our input data uh, required number of uh, numbers and size of the x plot also will come automatically so here is one vertical uh, x plot another one vertical we are entering here and you can see here is uh, totally 27 numbers is required in this type of uh, arrangement uh, is required for this particular section is 27 numbers based on the 1.5 interval 1.5 meter interval of the insert plates so this is all informations will come automatically similarly for the horizontal also same horizontal layer also same this horizontal and vertical we already given the input so based on that only this drawing is uh, generating so this is the output which we are uh, getting from our uh, drawing even this also we are generating automatically for representation purpose here is you can see this is from node to node so this is the plan view itself either vertical or horizontal whatever it is it is for plan view uh, it is uh, in the same floor itself it is traveling this is the uh, idea of this information and here it is a vertical this is what it is uh, inform information is giving and there is a razor from the one node to another one node is uh, upper lever or lower lever wherever whatever it is it is in, uh, in vertical mode we have to lay the tray for instruments lpb sorry yeah lpb instruments uh, or floor to floor where whatever it is see here for floor to floor is there so this type uh, is only for the understanding purpose uh, it is uh, we are generating and we are copy and pasting the information which we generated about the cable tray detail in the final sheet just we are copy and paste it into the autocad so this is also for information purpose we are doing it so this is the way we are uh, generating uh, uh cross section details of the cable tray and this is the output details uh, and here you can see the boq you can see here it is the boq for uh, snow uh, output is there for 25 mm by steel quantity as uh, and here it is the tray length as based on the input gi and j pack for the cable tray earthing material also boq is coming automatically so that key for uh, changes of 25 if you want to change uh, this 50 mm i am changing into 25 mm then the boq will automatically yeah change it here you can see so 25 automatically for horizontal support i changed it so automatically the quantity is changed and based on this we are uh, going with uh, steel purchase margin how much margin is need you want in kg or length everything is available here for even tray and uh, earth plate if you want length or kg whatever it is that also it is available in this boq itself we automated so these are the outputs which we are generating uh, so 